Dr. Mark Anderson joins me on the live line now. Dr. Mark is, um, well, a medical expert for sure, and uh, the energy drinks, the um, you know the heavy caffeine uh, being looked at uh, on the coasts, uh, San Francisco and New York State attorneys have kind of joined forces. From your perspective, Dr. Anderson, uh, sports drinks always bad, always good, or somewhere in the middle? Oh, it's somewhere in the middle. I mean, what they're specifically looking at is uh, uh, marketing these drinks to uh, kids, and uh, so when you're marketing, uh, they probably are not a good thing for young kids to have, definitely with the amount of caffeine that they have in them. For adults, the amount of caffeine is probably not uh, any more significant than the cup of coffee they get in the morning. Yeah, is it, um, is it solely like the monster and drinks like that, or is it even the five-hour energy what's being looked at? Right now, they're looking at the monster drinks. They, you know, five-hour energy's had some of its own issues. It doesn't have it, uh, as much caffeine, and it's about half as much as a 16-ounce monster. Uh, you know, even sodas uh, will have about uh, oh, five milligrams of caffeine per ounce, and them. So they're uh, compared to Monster that has ten, so they're about twice the caffeine. I think the issue is more the direct marketing to the youth than it is the uh, quantity of caffeine. Yeah. So, but I mean, if it's uh, if it's not such a hugely bad thing, what difference does it make if they market to kids and kids drink it? Well, it's probably a dosage deal. I mean, if you look at a small a kid, you know, six years old and younger, you know, having a 30, 40 milligrams, one soda a day is not going to do them in. I mean, it does accelerate heart rate. It is a drug. It has side effects. Um, you know, cultures around the world, young kids, uh, you know, have caffeinated beverages. So it does come down to dosing, but these kids are drinking one, two, three of these a day. Uh, they also have a high level of, uh, you know, sugars and high fructose corn syrup in them. Um, so they're, they're not real healthy. I find it ironic that in a state that, you know, didn't allow Bloomberg to put limits on sodas yeah. uh, and volume <laughs> is now coming out and has a problem with the marketing uh, the energy drink. So it makes me wonder who's behind it. That's a great question. I mean, for me, a lot of times anything that starts on the coasts and works its way in, uh, you know, raises an eyebrow or maybe both. But, um, you know, it's one of those things. I, I, I try to figure it out. They talk about marketing these things to kids. Kids a lot of times just gravitate towards stuff that they see – you know, older teens or 20s or whatever, because it's cool. They see older people doing it, so they want to do it. Um, but, I mean, you'd have to stop coffee drinking and all that. I mean, caffeine is firmly embedded as a part of our society. It is. I mean, you know, it's, it's, and it's been studied back forth. I mean, you know, in my career, it's flip-flopped half a dozen times. Is caffeine good for you, bad for you? And, you know, it comes out kind of like where we started off at the beginning. Yeah. Like alcohol, a little bit's probably okay for you. If anything done to excess can be dangerous. Okay, so uh, walk me through. If I've got a tween or an early teen at home, what is an appropriate limit for caffeine intake for a day? Probably about 110 milligrams, which would be about two sodas, uh, you know, which is a little bit less than what would be in a monster drink. Okay, so about two sodas and you're okay, and that would go... You know, if they're they're drinking three or more, bad. If they're having multiple cups of coffee, bad. We just got to keep an eye on that. And and the, the expanded heart rate that you mentioned earlier with the caffeine. Um, you know, what does that do to us later in life? If your kids were to overindulge on the caffeine, how would you see that as you track through your life? Well, there's not any long term studies, but when you you know caffeine to stimulates our sympathetic nervous system or you know the part that accelerates heart rate, blood pressure, etc. And healthy individuals. Uh, they're not going to have an excessive response. I mean, we can all tolerate a little bit bump in our heart rate, and we're fine. But in people who have underlying diseases or, you know, the class is you get too much, you get that heart racing, and, uh, you know, big people can't slow down. So, I mean, you know, I recall a college incident where one guy had too much of it, and he couldn't slow down the study for the whole night because, yeah. uh, you know, just jacked up running up and down the halls. Yeah, it, it seems, and Dr. Mark, uh, I appreciate it very much, Dr. Mark Anderson.